Welcome back to the tech space, and this is the last video I'm going to make on uh, Throttle Stop Obsidian, but it's going to be on just the best settings for Obsidian. I get a lot of questions asked on how to overclock, how to increase your performance, how to gain better, how to get more FPS, how to have a better PC overall. So, um, that being said, I just want to go over the best settings for using Throttle Stop, and if you don't have it, I'll put the link in the description below to go download it. Um, I have tutorials on actually how to use it, the settings about it, all of that. Um, but for this video, I'm just going to go over the basics of just what I use, what helps me, and how I get the best performance out of Throttle Stop Obsidian. And I use this every single day when I'm gaming. No matter what I'm doing, actually, I just load it up um, because it makes your PC perform better. So without further ado, let's go ahead and go through Obsidian. What we're going to want to do is, of course, launch up Obsidian. Make sure you have it launched as an administrator. And go over here to Performance. Tick Performance. Don't tick Game. I know it says Gaming. Um, don't tick Game. Um, performance. Make sure you have Modulation on at 100% for both of these settings. Multiplier all the way up. If you have Turbo, go to Turbo. It will say Turbo when you keep clicking this arrow. I don't so it just goes to the max which is 19 and that's basically it so you have these three settings then we have speed step c1e bd pro shot check those three click start monitoring then what you're going to want to do is make sure this says a max power right here so click it till it says max power you'll get the max voltage out of your pc and then lastly what we're going to want to do is go down here click save and make sure that you have throttle stop turned on. So that's how you get the best performance. If you want to mess with every other thing, any other settings, I suggest not doing it unless you're above a Core i7 in um, processor. So up here, if it says Core i7, or if you have, you know, you know your processor more than likely. So if you know you have a Core i7, then go ahead and mess with the other settings. Check out my other videos, and we'll go. I actually show you, you know, what the other settings do and how they increase your performance but for this video again we're just going over the best settings for obsidian and what i use so that's basically it you have these settings you click save make sure it's turned on and you're done so that's how you have the best performance from throttle stop if anybody tells you different don't listen to them because nine times out of ten not trying to be rude we're i mean everybody on here watching this video probably isn't like the biggest techie so to go ahead and actually start changing a lot of these settings some of them won't be changed back and then you actually have to do extra things to remove your computer settings even after you delete the program uh through your bios so you do not want to mess with anything again besides these things because these things won't remain constant after i delete this program so if you decide you don't want obsidian anymore or you don't want to overclock you don't think it's increasing your performance or you just don't see the point of it your computer runs fine already then just go ahead and delete it and all these things will be removed but if you do go ahead and mess with all of this stuff down here um like this and a lot of the other stuff you will end up messing something up so make sure you just have these settings here on my screen don't go any further unless you highly know what you're doing um and you've done overclocking before with different software and experimented with it because you will mess your computer up again so after you have these settings turn it on again that's how you use obsidian the best settings and that's it so you'll see you guys next time make sure you subscribe and like just like the video if you didn't like it like the video if you did like it i tried to show you guys you know the best settings um again if you think there are some other settings that are work better Please let me know in the description. You don't have to be rude about it. Just, you know, let the community know about it. If you have any questions, put it in the comment section below. Please subscribe and like again, and I will see you guys next time.